We are going to use the QuickBooks Sample and Company file today to walk you through writing off an invoice to bad debt. In this scenario, we have invoiced Jita for a custom designed rock fountain. The job has been completed and Jita has been invoiced for her work performed. After many attempts at collections, we find out that Jita is no longer able to pay her balance due to personal reasons. We have decided that since her open balance is uncollectible, we will have to write off her invoice to bad debt. There is a simple two-step method that you can use to write off the invoices to bad debt. However, there are two setup steps that you'll need to accomplish first before you can use the simple method. First step in the setup, if you have not created the account already, you'll need to create the bad debt expense account. To start off this step, you'll click on Accounting, Chart of Accounts. Click on the green New button at the top right. On the Account Type, click Expense. On the Detail, click Bad Debts. And then click the green button Save and Close. The next step in the setup process, we're going to create the Bad Debt line item under the Product and Service section. Click on Sales, Products and Services. Click the green new button at the top right, select service, type in bad debt. Under the income account, select the bad debt account we just created, and then click save and close. Now that you've created the bad debt expense account and the bad debt products and services line item to use on the credit memo, you're ready to start writing off invoices. To create the credit memo, you want to click on the plus icon at the top left, click on credit memo, enter the customer's name, select the date you're writing off the invoice, select the bad debt product and service we did, enter the description if you need to, to refer back to, under the amount, type in the amount pre-tax. If this item is subject to sales tax, make sure you check the box under tax. If it doesn't fill in for you, make sure you select the proper sales tax rate. Once your credit memo balance matches the outstanding balance owed plus the tax, then click on the green save and close button. The second and last step is to apply the credit memo against the customer invoice to close out the balance owed. Click on the new button. Click on receive payment. Enter the customer information. Make sure the date you're writing off the invoice is correct. Ensure that both boxes for the invoice and the credit memo are checked and that your balance is zero. Once that's complete, you can hit save and close. At this point in time, your job is done. The customer balance has been written off to zero and you can move on. However, for those of you that are writing off a balance that contains the sales tax, following these steps will reduce the balance owed to your state sales tax agency in the month you wrote off the invoice. For your knowledge, I wanted to show you the result in writing off the invoice for Jita in March and the corresponding reduction sales tax since her invoice balance was not collected. Since we invoiced her in the same month we wrote off the invoice, both transactions take place in the same month. If you were to invoice in one month and pay sales tax on the invoice, then run off the invoice in the following months, you will see a reduction in sales tax in the month the invoice is written off.